In this video, we'll write the name for ZnCH3COO2. And the CH3COO, this is a polyatomic ion. It's called the acetate ion. Sometimes you'll see the acetate ion written like this here. It's the same thing. The atoms are just arranged a little differently. So in this video, let's use this one here. So zinc is a transition metal, but it always has an ionic charge of 2 plus. The acetate ion, this is a group of nonmetals, and the whole acetate ion here has a charge of 1 minus. We have two of them. So when we write the name, first we're going to write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. Zn, that's just zinc. Then we write the name for the polyatomic ion, the acetate ion. So you either know that this is the acetate ion and it's 1 minus, or if you're allowed, you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions. So to write the name, we write a lowercase a, and that makes the name for ZnCH3COO2 zinc acetate. If you were given this name and asked to write the formula, you'd need to know that zinc forms two plus ions and that the acetate ion here is CH3COO1 minus. So when you write the formula, since this is one minus, you need two of them. So you have two minus here, two plus charge balance out, and you have a net charge of zero. This is Dr. B with the name for Zn. CH3COO2. And again, you might see it this way here. Thanks for watching.